All right. So today I'm going to going to explain to you how to properly put wood glue on balsa wood, specifically the thin box. Now first, remember to open the wood glue. If it doesn't if it doesn't seem like it's coming out, always pull it <coughs> and push it in for closing, of course. So first, you put some on your finger. Not a lot, but enough so that it will make the wood say wet. I'll show you later. So now you gently stroke the glue onto the side of the balsa wood you want to connect with. Now remember that it can't go to the side, so you, you have to always remember to clean the other sides out so that it doesn't stick to anything else when it's in the drying process. So then you keep continuing. You can add a bit more glue if you need, but remember to be careful when placing down the wood. Yeah, you don't want to place it uh, uh, glue side down for sure. Then you just keep gently stroking it, take the bit away. You continue like this. Remember that the layer has to seem like it's wet, but not to the point where it's drooling over to the other side. Oh, sure. Yeah, and try not to get too much of it on your clothes, of course. <laughs> All right, so I successfully did it on the side that I wanted to. Remember to clean the sides one last time to check if there's any. I'll just use the towel lid to check that it won't stick to anything else. Now with this, you now have to carefully place this down, turn it to the side a bit, then remember to connect it with the other side. You can you can move the wood a bit to adjust it. And give it a good squeeze, of course. Then you to, have to keep it. Yep. And it's squeeze. also important that you um, do this on paper so that you don't end up gluing your balsa wood to the table or worse to a piece of wood because uh, you will break your balsa wood yes. when you try to lift it up. And Jay Young is doing this because he wants uh, a thicker, stronger uh, bridge member, and so he's taking two of the three millimeter pieces he has chosen to join them to make a six millimeter. Now, one of the final steps would be to add wood on both sides to push and keep the uh, balls wood in place. Now, remember, you always have to use the flat, sharp corners of a of a wooden of a wooden uh, pillar, so to say. And as if you use the round sides. The balsa wood can go into the little space given by the round corner per se, and I and just screw your entire wood up. Therefore, you have to restart again. And you always have to remember that both sides need to be straight. If it's curved, one either your balsa wood will fail to stick together at a certain place, or it would be at an angle which you don't which you don't want to have. So now you place these two together. And you give it a little push on all sides to make sure that it's holding everything in correctly. And then after that, you have to wait for around 20, for around 20 minutes. You can wait up to 30 if you want to be so sure, but usually your teacher will mostly recommend 20 minutes. And now you just wait and just remember to close the wood glue at the end. Thank you. And uh, great job, Jay Young. And then uh, also just be uh, sure you don't put a lot of stress on the piece of wood until the next day. Yes. Fantastic. Great job.